And now the time is here when we proudly invite our Minister for Tourism, Sri Jupali Krishna Rao Garu, to kindly address the gathering. Sri Tenjan Imna along Honorable Minister for Tourism, Nagaland, and Sri Abu Mehtaji, Honorable Advisor to Chief Minister of Nagaland, and Sri Tera Meru, Chairman, Hornbill Festival and uh, Tafma, Nagaland, and uh, our friend Kiran Suchir India, great personality. And it's a great pleasure to be here today as we come together to explore how Telangana and Nagaland can collaborate to strengthen tourism and cultural ties between our states. As all of you know, unity in diversity. All the way from Northeast state, you are landed in our central India. And uh, Nagaland's Wombili festival is a magnificent celebration of culture, unity and tradition, showcasing the diversity of the Naga tribes. Since its inception in 2000, that is almost 24 years, this festival has grown into one of the most significant cultural events in India, held each year from December 1st to 10th to coincide with the Nagaland Statehood Day. The festival is named after the revered Hombili bird, symbolizing the spirit of unity in diversity that uh, defines Nagaland's rich cultural mosaic. The Hornbill Festival, now known as the Festival of Festival of Festivals, brings together all of Nagaland's tribes and sub-tribes, offering visitors a vibrant display of Naga life, from traditional dances and music to indigenous games, crafts, and food. It has a transformed from a local heritage event into a national and international attraction, drawing visitors from all over the world to experience the vibrant essence of Naga culture. Held at the picturesque Naga heritage village, that is Kisama. The festival serves as a grand platform to showcase the colorful traditions of Nagaland, making it a must visit destination for culture and adventure seekers. It provides an authentic glimpse into the state's age old customs and is a symbol of the collective spirit of the Naga people. Telangana, a deeply appreciate the cultural significance of this festival and we look forward to deeper participation in this remarkable event. Sometime I'll also join you and uh, you should also be the, uh, uh, our guest. I think uh, if you are, uh, I don't know what's your schedule, so having come over here, stay back for next two, three days, we'll take you different places. We can mix up the cultures. We can enjoy the performance also. And uh, by collaborating, we can create giant tourism packages that will give travelers the chance to experience the best of both Nagaland and Telangana. This can open new avenues for cultural exchange and mutual promotion of our state's unique traditions and heritage. Together, we can deepen cultural ties create opportunities for exchange and draw greater attention to both states as vibrant cultural destinations. And both Nagaland and Telangana are blessed with natural beauty and we share a commitment to ecotourism and sustainable development. Telangana is keen to learn from Nagaland's ecotourism strategies implemented during the Hornbill festival and we are happy to share our own experiences such as 
with the Kaval Tiger Reserve and our focus on sustainable tourism innovatives. Together, we can work on creating eco-friendly tourism models that benefit local communities while preserving our natural heritage for future generations. Telangana, it has got uh, different art forms, art forms. As all of you know, Hyderabad is a uh, cosmopolitan city, all sorts of languages and different forms of culture are existing here. Uh, there are many, but just for namesake, I'll uh, take Chindu Yakshaganam, Guswadi, like that. There are many tri tribal, this thing also. And uh, there are uh, the, the largest uh, earthen dam, that is Nagar Sagar, which is the largest in India. And we have another water body, that is uh, Krishna River, Sri Salem Project Backwaters, which is spread over almost about 150 kilometers length. Both sides covered with a lot of greenery and uh, hill areas and uh, Nalamala forest, lot of uh, this thing there. And uh, as Hyderabad has got the longest history, rich culture, and as I'm so happy to see you all, all the way from Nagaland to here. India population is almost 140 crore. And if you compare the tourism statistics of India, it's very negligible when compared with the global tourism places, in spite of having so much of population. We have to inculcate the habit of at least every citizen, all walks of life, irrespective of caste, creed, status, everybody has to spend at least one day in a month. Why? Because most of the, most of the people were running after, running after daily activity, earning money, Ultimately, life is only one. I don't believe in Punar Janma, rebirth. So life is only one. We cannot construct, we cannot create like, uh, what do you call, natural beauty is there. We cannot construct monuments. We cannot uh, construct heritage buildings. Thousands of years back, people, generation back, they have, they have constructed, they built. At least we should uh, see and uh, we should uh, enjoy. So we should inculcate. I started from my portfolio, I started, I made it a mandatory. Every minister, every legislator should spend at least a day for tourism along with the families. I'm also going to invite my chiefs also. And recently we started uh, by subsidizing, but almost for a lack of students, our Honorable Chief Minister has announced, we are taking one lakh students of different ages, taking to tourism places free of cost. So to promote, to inculcate some habit. Like that, every section of society should spend some time. So I thank once again, one and all, definitely let us exchange We'll also, we'll be sending our cultural teams to Nagaland. I will also accompany them. You also join, sing, dance, everything. So I thank one and all for giving me this opportunity. Thank you once again. Thank you very much.